You have probably heard about NFTs and how some people have profited from them. NFTs are the most recent cryptocurrency craze to hit the mainstream. If you are an entrepreneur or a small firm that develops digital content, it makes sense to learn how to make money using NFTs. You have probably heard of the 12-year-old artist who made over $400,000 selling her art as NFTs or Rob Gronkowski selling NFTs of his best Super Bowl moments. With this news spreading on social media, it is no surprise that NFT surged to prominence rapidly, with more people jumping on the bandwagon. Understanding NFTs is the first step toward making money with them, and if you truly want to understand what NFTs are and how to make money from them, watch this video till the end. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. The video is for informational and educational purposes only. Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Trends. In today's video, we'll talk about NFTs and how you can make money from them. So, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos. So, without further ado, let's get into it. What are NFTs? NFTs basically stands for non-fungible tokens. They are cryptographic tokens that are stored on a blockchain. In a nutshell, an NFT is a record of a transaction on a blockchain. What's the use of storing data on a blockchain if it's not necessary? Taking a step back, let's describe a blockchain without going into the complexities of mathematics. Let's use a bank as an example. You can erase certain transactions and write new ones on a single piece of paper that a bank uses to record all of its transactions, for example, with a pencil. If someone gets hold of that notebook, they can do the same thing. Of course, it's not done with a pencil, but it serves as an explanation. So, what exactly is a blockchain? Rather than a single person having a notebook and a piece of paper with a pencil, everyone has a notebook and the identical transactions written down. So, if you want to hack someone, steal or change information, you have to wipe everyone's notebook, which is physically impossible. That is why blockchain is so crucial. Let's get back to the NFTs part. NFTs are actually utilized in a virtual capacity for real-world commodities such as artwork, music, art, and even real estate. NFTs, unlike cryptocurrencies, cannot be traded or swapped because they are not similar. Consider a baseball card collection or a rare coin collection. NFTs establish scarcity among otherwise infinitely available assets. They are commonly used to purchase and sell digital commodities such as tweets, artwork, game skins, and virtual real estate. NFT sales reached $2.5 billion in the first half of 2021, marking a year of growth for the industry. The total NFT market is currently worth more than $23 billion as of 28th January and is likely to 10x this year. What gives an NFT value? Consumer interest drives the value of an NFT in the same way that it drives the value of items in our hypothetical art collection. Similar to trading cards, the rarity and number of prospective buyers affect their value. While an image can be transformed into an NFT, the image can still be freely shared. It does, however, unambiguously demonstrate who owns the asset through the blockchain. Types of NFTs If you have been wondering what the most well-known sorts of NFTs are, you will be relieved to know that there are plenty. Here are four of the most well-known types of NFTs. Number 1. Digital artworks. Individual NFT artworks are among the most profitable and popular non-fungible tokens created to date. On March 11, 2021, an auction house sold artwork every day's the first 5,000 days for an astounding $69 million, forever changing the history of blockchain and art. This was the auction house's first time auctioning a completely digital piece of art. NFTs provide the artist the right of ownership so that when you develop a digital asset, you can demonstrate proof of authenticity and earn from your work. If you are the inventor of a meme, you will benefit when it spreads. From that vantage point, NFTs are a game-changing technology for artists. Number 2. Fashion NFTs NFTs, like artwork, address authenticity issues and eliminate the potential of counterfeits. Clothing and fashion manufacturers are increasingly reaping the benefits of the NFT trend by creating a digital limited edition of their clothing featuring a collection of classic celebrity items or design signatures. 
Furthermore, clothing and fashion manufacturers can benefit from NFT development by creating an NFT marketplace for their clothing and accessories. This enables them to produce an endless amount of revenue from NFTs in a secure and robust environment. Number 3. Licensed Collectibles Tokenizing valuables is one of the most effective specialized applications of NFTs and it appears to be the most apparent solution to deal with collectibles. People who work in the physical collectibles industry, such as trinkets, mementos, trading cards, and other goods, now simply have to sell the same as digital assets. Because of NFT's capacity to verify rarity, the value of collectibles can be substantially higher than their physical counterparts. Sports cards have proven to be the most popular collectibles thus far. The sports card initiative initially only allowed the exchange of licensed footballer cards. The National Basketball Association, or NBA, has now released its own set of NFT cards. Other sports are likely to follow suit, and collections will have a greater range of sport NFTs to choose from. This isn't to say that other types of collectibles aren't doing well. As previously indicated, tangible items can be converted into tokenized assets and purchased, exchanged, or sold as such. While physical trading and handling can degrade the quality of collectibles, NFTs never lose their value because they only exist in digital form and are safely recorded on the blockchain. Number 4. Video Games NFTs for video games are also taking shape, as blockchain allows you to switch from paying to win to playing to earn. NFT game creation is the way to go if you want to engage larger audiences and improve income prospects with high demand prizes. The games include features that allow you to buy, sell, trade, or exchange your treasures. Although there haven't been many games that have gained broad popularity, the potential is huge. With games being well known for being major spenders on virtual products, video games with NFTs sellable in-game items have a good chance of being a great hit. Notably, NFT video game producers are also ambitious NFT designers, which may propel NFT technology ahead. In-game NFTs are the most advanced when compared to other NFTs, such as artwork, fashion, and trade cards. This is due to the fact that they are complicated, completely interactive, and constantly changing with time by having to be upgraded or leveled in accordance with changes in a player's character. How to make money with NFTs? There are several ways to make money using NFTs, and the following four are the most widely used. Way number one, sell NFTs. When it comes to making money with NFTs, the most basic method is to create and sell NFTs. But how do you sell NFTs? NFTs are typically sold in marketplaces with different processes depending on the platform. Simply said, you will post your stuff to the marketplace, convert it to NFT, and then wait for it to sell. It's a lot like Amazon or Etsy. If you already have a digital content portfolio that you hold the rights to, here is what you should do next. Step 1. Choose your marketplace, mint the NFT, and connect your wallet. You have a plethora of marketplaces to pick from. OpenSea, Axie Marketplace, Rarible, Super Rare, and Mintable are a few examples. Take a brief look over these marketplaces and choose the one that best fits your content. The following step is to mint the NFT. To put it simply, minting an NFT is the process of converting a digital file into a crypto collectible or a digital asset on the Ethereum blockchain. Though this may appear to be complicated, most, if not all, marketplaces will provide a step-by-step -step guide on minting your NFT directly on their platform. After you've decided on a marketplace, you'll need to connect your funded cryptocurrency wallet. Then, upload your digital file and proceed with the process on your chosen marketplace. Each platform will have its own set of procedures and you will be able to either sell the item as a one-time buy or receive royalties. Step 2. List NFT for sale. Once you've completed the process and your file has been uploaded and minted, it's time to put it up for sale. After you put it for sale, the marketplace will calculate gas fees. This is a cost charged by the Ethereum blockchain network to record transactions. This cost varies according to how busy the network is. Depending on the marketplace, the best strategy to lower this price is to list your product during non-peak hours. Way number 2. Staking NFTs Staking is basically locking or depositing your NFTs in order to earn passive revenue. The yield generated by staking is well recognized to be dispersed in the form of tokens. 
Some DeFi platforms require users to buy native NFTs for staking and award rewards in the form of governance tokens that grant voting rights. Way number three, royalties from NFTs. NFTs are one of the most fundamental cornerstones of the creator-led economy that Web 3.0 is aiming towards. One example is that NFT creators can earn royalties long after their art has been sold. Royalty fees created passive income any time the creator's NFT is exchanged in the secondary market. These royalties are determined by the NFT inventor. What's the best part? The entire process of receiving passive revenue from NFTs is automated since blockchain transactions are governed by smart contracts that have pre-filled royalty data from NFT developers. Way number 4. Renting out NFTs Several GameFi platforms enable NFT owners to earn passive money by renting out their digital assets to NFT gamers in the ecosystem. Smart contracts manage these rental agreements. While NFT owners have the ability to select the loan rate and length, many platforms have a maximum for both. As you can see, this is a growing concept with a lot of future possibilities. Future of NFT Market the NFT market is more efficient and liquid than the traditional market. It is based on digital art NFT marketplaces and its fees are significantly lower than the 5% or even 10% fees charged by traditional art brokers. Tens of thousands of unique NFT wallet connections are counted each week by experts like Rarible and aggregators like OpenSea. During the last five years of tremendous growth in the market, the first cryptocurrency holders became millionaires and even billionaires. This crypto-rich generation is primarily made up of risk-taking young individuals who enjoy experimenting and can afford to do so. Despite high price volatility, research has indicated that the general public is becoming more committed to the mainstream use of cryptocurrencies. Their willingness to take risks expands the possibilities of crypto economics. While there are numerous incredibly promising technology applications in the luxury and gaming industries that will gradually grow over the next three years, some think that the NFT craze will be short-lived, particularly in the art sector. The audience there is unmistakably distinct from that of traditional markets. However, the NFT mania may be short-lived, but it has the potential to make a significant shift in the direction of the digital economy. What are your thoughts about NFTs? Will NFTs be as big as cryptocurrencies in the future? Or would the idea behind NFTs fail? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below.